look cool. Buck moth caterpillars, guys, look. Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, I got a tip from my friend Alan Chinley uh, that there are buck moth caterpillars, Hemaluca Maya, on the scrub oak trees all over them in a nature preserve at Yamato Scrub Nature Preserve in Boca Raton, Florida. So I'm gonna go see if we can find some buck moth caterpillars. I found them in North Florida on some of the broadleaf um, oaks. I've never found them in South Florida on the live oaks or scrub oaks, so I, I just haven't looked for them. So I'm gonna go do that today. I'm here at Yamato, uh, Yamato Scrub Natural Preserve in Boca Raton, Florida. Guys, uh, let's see if we can find some buck moths. Guys, give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you'd like me to search for next comment down below what you'd like me to show you in a video next uh butterflies and moths of south florida so guys let's see how we do Hey guys, I wanna give a quick shout out to my friend, Alan Chinley. Uh, he is one of the best photographers that I know in the world. Like, and he's a butterfly photographer. So you check him out. It's Pilates uh, on Instagram. And so Alan Chinley is a phenomenal photographer. And every time like I take a great picture, you know, like I use this setup with the Canon 60D with the ring flash and so on. And he's the one that pretty much showed me how to do macro photography. He's the one that started me on the photography end of things. But every time I get like a picture I'm really proud of, I'm like, man, that's a clean shot. I'm proud of that one. I see one of Alan's pictures of the same bug and I'm like, oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> so guys, check out Alan's Instagram page. Uh, he's a phenomenal photographer and a phenomenal friend. And he was the one that tipped me off on the Buck Moth Caterpillars here. So shout out to Alan. Love you, buddy. All right, guys. Yamato Scrub Natural Area. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but it's literally a high elevation, kind of a sand, sugar sand, scrubby area down here in Boca Raton. And literally, there's, there's really not a whole lot of other nature preserves until you go further west and you get out to like a Loxahatchee or Everglades uh, National Park. But guys, this literally, you can hear the traffic from I-95 right here, is a little strip of, uh, they call it a corridor, where they've preserved a little strip of wild uh, habitat. And it's not much, guys. It's literally, I-95 is right there. If you were to go another, I don't know, quarter of a mile that way, you're gonna run into office buildings. So there's not a whole lot. But it's, it's high elevation, it's saw palmetto. Here's some saw palmetto, guys. You can see the, uh, the saw edges of this palm, these palmetto trees. Um, it's pines, there's oaks, there's some bays. You can see all the pickerel weed out here in this little marshy area. I love pickerel weed, so do skippers. Um, we gotta do an episode on pickerel weed. But um, yeah, it's, it's a cool place, man. I, and I, I've only been here a couple times. Um, there's just not, there's not a whole lot of action. So it's not like you're gonna come here and see tons and tons of butterflies or whatever, but it is, there's some hidden treasures here. And that's what we're doing, guys. We are looking for buck moths and we're looking for hidden treasures that might be here in Yamato Scrub Natural Area in Boca Raton, Florida. So All right, guys, we got our first bugs of our little outing. We've got a pair of zebras. And guys, you can see there's a female trying to lay eggs, but look at all the caterpillars on this passion vine that's hanging down here from this tree. That's pretty cool. So there's a bunch of grown up zebra caterpillars there. And that's not a very big vine. I'm not even sure where it's coming from. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of it up there. This whole thing is covered with vine, passion flower, guys. Passiflora suberosa, the host plant for three butterflies down here, the zebras, Gulf fritillaries, and the julias. So, cool, we're like, parking lot's like right there, and 
we are, are just inside the park and we're already finding stuff. So very cool find so far. All right, guys, there's a bunch of little oak trees that have all this new growth on them. And in order to find these uh, caterpillars, we just have to start looking, man. And eventually I'm sure we'll find them. Uh, they hang out in clusters on the branches and I haven't seen any yet. I'm not seeing any larval feeding damage on any of these leaves or stems. So it doesn't look like there's any on this tree, but they obviously eat the new, new growth. And that's why they wait until the spring in order to lay eggs uh, so that they can, caterpillars can enjoy the nice succulent little new, new leaves of the oak trees. And this one's a, yeah, that's a scrub oak. This is our host plant, guys. I'm not seeing any though. We just have to keep looking. I'll bet if we keep looking, we'll find them. See, this, this tree here is just starting to flesh out its new growth. There's a lot of old, old leaves that are, that are very hard. Uh, these are, these leaves like very hard leaves. So that's not the type of leaves that we're going to find them on. We got to look for trees with leaves like this. You can see the difference. You can see the difference. The one on the right are the old leaves from last year. The tree on the left is fleshing out all the new leaves. This is gonna be what they're eating, the nice succulent, soft, fresh green leaves that are coming out. Cool bird call. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Check them out. Cardinal. Oh man, he's calling away. <laughs> Spanish moss growing on this oak tree. That's a lot of that stuff, man. How beautiful is that? Look at all the Spanish moss on these trees. What a cool little place. Guys, you know, these little parks are built or are preserved all throughout South Florida. And they're, they're sitting in little pockets, but a lot of times, guys, we just don't take the time to go and explore them. And they are, really are beautiful. So uh, I just really recommend that. Just getting out there, guys. And Oh, rabbit. <laughs> Didn't see him. I just wanted to come over and show you this beauty berry. Purple beauty berry. This plant's getting tore up by something. I don't know what's eating it. I don't see any caterpillars. Now this is cool, guys. This is pawpaw. It's an anona. And it's the host plant for the zebra swallowtail. Now there's not a whole lot of places down here in South Florida where this plant grows. And Eurotides marcellus, the zebra swallowtail, used to be found down here when there was a lot more of this kind of habitat. But guys, this habitat is very few and far between. Um, I wonder if they live here, but this is the first plant I've seen. I haven't seen a whole lot of them, but man, it would be so nice to see a zebra swallowtail. I haven't seen one in South Florida in some 20 years. So, host plants there. Host plant is there. We got Red Bay. This is a host plant for Palamedes swallowtail. Got some Red Bay going on. You can kind of scrunch the leaf and smell it. Yep, that's what we cook with. It's our Red Bay tree. Very small one, but it's Red Bay. Uh, we got the Palmetto is a host plant for two species of skipper the um, monk skipper and the palmetto skipper. So there's some host plants there. There's a little baby strangler fig tree, which is the host plant for the ruddy dagger wing, as well as Hemorophilia diva and Tortyris lasonia, little metal mark moths. And 
the big uh, ficus sphinx. So this plant is actually, oh, actually, here's a caterpillar. This is a diva caterpillar, guys, right here. Let me see, let me see if he's in here. Is he in there? Nope, empty nest. Guys, that, that's what a hemorphilia diva, this really colorful metal marked moth, that's what the caterpillar tent looks like. Uh, a lot of times these small little trees get infested um, by those moths and they're quite easy to find. This is a muscadine grape. It's a host plant for a number of sphinx species and there's tons of, of grapevine all over the place. So there's a, let's see, Enyo lugubris, the morning sphinx. Um, let's see, what else? The abbot sphinx, um, Nessus sphinx, the hog sphinx, and the gaudy sphinx. And I think also um, the, the, line, uh, the vine sphinx, Eumorpha vitis. Uh, Eumorpha labrusca is the gaudy sphinx, the big green one, and Eumorpha vitis is the vine sphinx. They all use that stuff. So pretty cool. Guys, lots of host plants. Look at all the grapevine hanging here. Guys, we got our prickly pear cactus, which is a super cool plant, all right? Very healthy little cactus, great big spines. You don't want one of those big spines going in you. Uh, that's why I like to stay on the trail. Okay, guys, so let's, Let's see what happens. There's a nice clearing over here. Still haven't found any buck moth caterpillars, but there's a nice clearing over here. So there's a zebra. Let's see. You don't want to come out and play? Zebra in there somewhere floating around. So there's a lot of poison ivy here too, guys. Look, there's poison ivy and it's mixed in with Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper's got five leaflets. Poison ivy has three. But boy, you can actually see them both side by side there. There's the poison ivy on the left with three leaflets. And the uh, Virginia creeper on the right with five leaflets. Pretty cool. Just guys, be careful. Let's see. All right, here's a little scrub oak. Oh, guys, look, 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 look. How oh, cool. Buck moth caterpillars, guys, look. Here we go, we found them, guys, we found them. That, that's what they look like, guys. Buck moth caterpillars. Look at them. There's a big cluster, guys, that they feed on the new growth of oak trees. And man, so in, January, February, the adults hatch, they emerge, and they float around, and they only fly, f oh look, look at this guys, look at this. Oh, how cool is this? Buck moths everywhere. So the adults emerge in January and February, and they float around, they do their thing, and then females lay eggs on the new leaves. Now, at that time, all these trees are barren, so it makes it really easy uh, for them because they females just look for trees that are just starting to bud out new leaves and the the caterpillars only eat the newest little leaves so guys these are like third instar i'm guessing uh so that is super super exciting to be able to find some hemaluca maya buck moth caterpillars right here in boca raton this is very cool right there and there's a green anole where'd he go oh there he is Look how well camouflaged this green anole is, guys. He's like, you can't see me. I'm like, yeah, I can. <laughs> Barely. Only when he moves, though, because he just disappears in there. How cool is that? Guys, I don't know what it is about this plant, this one oak tree that's different from all the other ones I've looked at. Guys, I've, I've looked at like literally a couple hundred trees so far, and this is the first one I've found caterpillars. But guys, look at this. There are literally hundreds of caterpillars on this one plant. So whatever it is about this one tree that they like, and they're all different instars. Like this is, a, I believe, a fourth instar caterpillar right here. These guys are third. And then up there, there's a big cluster. Where are they? There they are. Big cluster of what I believe are 
uh, third instars. Guys, all different instars. Look at this little guy. Look at these little guys right here. Look at this. So this, this I think is, no, it's third. So guys, tons of caterpillars on this one tree. Um, tons of caterpillars on this one tree. Not sure what it is about this one tree that's got the buck moths all excited, but they are all over the place. So, man, I'm so excited. Like I've lived down here in South Florida for so long and have never seen buck moth caterpillars down in South Florida. So I just got a tip that you can come out and just look for caterpillars. I did that, found them, super cool. So I'm super excited, guys. It's a first for me. There's a brown anole. We found our green anole. Now we've got a brown anole. Look at you. How close are you gonna let us get? There are all these little tiny oak trees down here. These are all baby oaks. Oh, guys, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Guys, these are all little tiny buck moth caterpillars. They are gonna eat themselves out of house and home in like two days but then they're gonna have to crawl around and then I'm sure they'll find uh, plenty of food down here on the ground. But how cool is that? Look at that. These guys actually have a very high parasitization rate. Um, a lot of tachinid flies and wasps and things like that, they, they, uh, they get parasitized a lot. So that's like, kind of like safety in numbers. They just, ha they just have crazy amounts of offspring at the same time of year and they rely on numbers in order to uh, to succeed as a species. So pretty cool. I just found a, a fourth or even an early final instar caterpillar, guys. And I was gonna try and photograph him, but he just jumped off of this. So what they do, they actually jump off the plant when they're disturbed and curl up in a little ball because these little spines on their back are urticating. And they will, they will they're not quite as bad as an IO moth, but they will sting the heck out of you. And it's it's very itchy, it's very irritating. So he's, he rolls up in a ball like that when he's disturbed with hopes of not being eaten. So, uh, but guys, check this out. I mean, like I haven't walked here, but look at all, look at all the buck moth caterpillars that are just crawling around on the ground that have probably eaten the little plants, little oak plants that they were laid on. These guys are all molting, so maybe they crawled down onto the ground to molt. But they are all over these little tiny oak plants here that are in the ground. Baby, baby little oak trees, check it out. There's a fourth inch star caterpillar right there. They're all over the place, guys. How cool. I didn't realize there was that many of them. Here's a little bush, a little tiny bush of an oak, scrub oak. I mean, it's, it's about, I don't know, two and a half, maybe three feet tall. And I wanna show you how many buck moth caterpillars are, well, and I also wanna show you a green anole that's brown. He turns green when he wants to, but yeah, he's looking at me now. I see you, buddy. But guys, I wanna show you how many buck moth caterpillars there are on this one plant, guys, look at this, there's a good, probably dozen right there. There's our fourth, I think fourth instar. Let's see, where else are they? You can see the kind of frass accumulating there. Oh, here's another cluster here, guys. Another six or seven. Um, we've got another cluster here, six or seven. Where else are you guys? There's a bunch of them on this one little plant, guys. Let's see. Where else are they? Here's another cluster, guys. Look at that. Another cluster right here. And there's a wasp. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're looking for caterpillars. Don't sting me. I'm not bothering you. Here's another cluster, guys. Another cluster. Here's another cluster here. Here's another cluster here. They're kind of hanging out here on the tip here. So guys, tons and tons and tons of buck moths. Look at them all. I didn't even see these guys. Look at these guys. They're all over the place here, guys. There's probably a couple hundred 
buck moth caterpillars on this one little plant. They are everywhere. All right, guys, that's super exciting. We found some buck moths, uh, able to get some great pictures of the caterpillars. Uh, and guys, I-95, our major highway is right there. I can hear the traffic. I don't know if you can hear the traffic in the background. There's a plane that just took off from Boca Executive Airport, which is like right there. But guys, how exciting is this that we get to come out in a little tiny na nature preserve like this in the middle of Florida and find really cool bugs like uh, Hemaluca Maya, the buck moth. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, we're gonna go out to some other parking lots and things with oak trees and see if we can find more buck moths. Um, and we, you know, this is a preserve, so we're not gonna take anything, but we would love to uh, find some buck moths. Um, and guys, believe it or not, even though you almost never see them as adults, they are very easy to find as caterpillars during this time of year. You just gotta find the right plant, the, these live oaks or scrub oaks, and look for the caterpillars there, and they're all over the stem. So, um, guys, hope you liked the video. We hope to bring you some uh, life cycle stuff of the buck moth. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure, very important, hit the bell for notifications, because when you do that, you get notified every time we put out a new video like this. So guys, uh, if you if you like this video, let's see you do that. Guys, take care, let's enjoy South Florida, let's get out there. All right, guys, a little bit of post-outro uh, stuff. Uh, guys, check it out. I must have brushed up on a twig. My forearm brushed up on a twig with the buck moth caterpillars. And remember I told you that their spines are urticating. Guys, my skin is all welting up. And that is exactly what happens when a buck moth spine touches you. And so I must have brushed up on it. And it's literally like all up and down my forearm here. So that's not fun. Try not to touch buck moth caterpillars. That's what happens. So is what it is. It's a casualty of the job. I'm going out and looking for moths, but still worth it.